Hello and welcome to this video, I'm going to go through the solutions to the questions on trigonometric identities. If you haven't tried the questions already and want to do so, you'll find a link to them in this video's description. So for this question, we'll start with the left hand side, we've got 2 cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. We're going to replace this cos squared theta here with the identity cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we've got two lots of cos squared theta, but remember that's 1 minus sine squared theta, minus sine squared theta. Now if we expand these brackets, 2 times 1 is just 2, and 2 times minus sine squared theta is minus 2 sine squared theta. And then we've got the other minus sine squared theta at the end. Now we can just simplify, if we collect these two terms here together, we end up with 2 minus 3 sine squared theta, which is what we needed to show. For this question, we'll write down the left hand side, and then the first thing we're going to do is factorise out 2 sine theta. So we want to multiply 2 sine theta by something to get 2 sine squared tan theta. Well we want sine squared theta, but we've already got one of the sine thetas, so we need another one, and then we need the tan theta. And then we also want to multiply 2 sine theta by something to get 2 cos theta sine theta. Well the only thing missing here is the cos theta. The next thing we're going to do is look at this tan theta here, and we're going to use the identity to replace that with sine theta over cos theta. So we've got 2 sine theta, and then inside the brackets we'll keep the sine theta and the cos theta, and replace the tan theta with sine theta over cos theta. Now we can multiply the sine theta by this fraction, so we end up with 2 sine theta, and then inside the bracket sine squared theta over cos theta, plus cos theta. Next we're going to write these as one single fraction, so if we replace the cos theta with cos squared theta over cos theta, we now have a common denominator of cos theta, so we can just add together these fractions really easily, we get sine squared theta plus cos squared theta over cos theta. Now you should spot sine squared theta plus cos squared theta on the top here, using the identity this is just equal to 1, so we end up with 2 sine theta, and then 1 over cos theta in the bracket, and if you multiply these, you get 2 sine theta over cos theta, and remember sine theta over cos theta is tan, so we end up with 2 tan theta. And that's what we wanted on the right hand side, so we're finished. For this question, we'll write down the left hand side, and then if we look at this fraction here, sine cubed theta over tan theta. We have an identity which says cos theta over sine theta is the same as 1 over tan theta, so we can replace the 1 over tan theta here with cos theta over sine theta. So we end up with sine cubed theta times by cos theta over sine theta, and then plus the cos cubed theta at the end. Now if we look at this term here, the sine theta on the bottom will cancel out with one of the sine thetas on the top. So we're left with sine squared theta cos theta, plus the cos cubed theta at the end. Now we can factorise out cos theta, so we end up with cos theta, and then inside the bracket sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. You should recall that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1, so this is just cos theta times by 1, which is cos theta, which is what we were trying to show. For this question, let's write down the left hand side, and we're going to convert all of the tans to sine theta over cos theta. So we've got the tan at the front, so tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. We'll keep the cos theta as it is, and then we've got sine theta tan theta, and we'll change that tan theta into sine theta over cos theta as well. So we get sine theta times sine theta over cos theta. Next we're going to write all of these terms over cos theta. The first one is already over cos theta, so that's done. The second one we need to multiply by cos theta if we also divide by cos theta, so we end up with cos squared theta over cos theta. And the final one, if you just multiply the sine thetas together, you get sine squared theta over cos theta. We can now write these as one single fraction like this, and notice again we have a cos squared theta plus sine squared theta, which we know is equal to 1. So we have sine theta plus 1 over cos theta, which you can just rearrange the terms on the numerator round to get 1 plus sine theta, which is exactly what we wanted to show. For this question we're going to write out the left hand side, and then we're going to factorise sine theta from the numerator, so we'll keep the denominator the same, and on the top we'll have sine theta, and inside the bracket 2 sine theta plus sine theta cos theta. Now this sine theta here will cancel out with this sine theta here. So we just end up with this 2 sine theta plus sine theta cos theta over cos theta. 
Now since this is over cos theta, we could separate it out into two separate fractions. 2 sine theta over cos theta, plus sine theta cos theta over cos theta. Now the left of these fractions is just equal to 2 tan theta, because sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. And on the right fraction, the two cos thetas will cancel, just giving sine theta, which is what we wanted to show. For this question, we'll start with the expression that we're given. And we will remove the tan theta, replacing it with sine theta over cos theta. So we have 8 take away 3 sine theta cos theta, and the tan theta will become sine theta over cos theta. Now these two cos thetas here will cancel each other out, so we end up with 8 minus 3 sine squared theta. We can then replace the sine squared theta, so it's 8 take away 3 lots of 1 minus cos squared theta, and then if we expand the bracket we get 8 take away 3 plus 3 cos squared theta. And 8 take away 3 is clearly 5, so we end up with 3 cos squared theta plus 5, which is in the form we wanted. You can see here A is 3 and B is 5. For this question, we'll start with the left hand side, and we're going to look at this tan squared theta here. Now you should know that 1 over tan theta is the same as cos theta over sine theta, so 1 over tan squared theta is the same as cos squared theta over sine squared theta. So we're going to leave the first fraction as it is, and for the second fraction, we'll change this tan squared into cos squared over sine squared. So we end up with negative sine cos squared theta over sine squared theta. Now this sine theta here will cancel with one of the sine thetas on the bottom, so we can leave the first fraction as it is, and the second fraction becomes minus cos squared theta over sine theta. Fortunately, both denominators are now the same, so we can write this as one fraction, like this. And we can change the cos squared theta into 1 minus sine squared theta. So if we rewrite everything else as it is, then it's take away cos squared theta, which is the same as 1 minus sine squared theta. Now we can expand this bracket, so if we write all of the other terms, and then it's negative 1, and you have to be really careful here because we have two negatives multiplied, so we get positive sine squared theta. Now if we simplify a little bit here, we've got 1 take away 1, which is 0, so the 1s will cancel, and we end up with this. And now we can split this into two fractions, since it's both over sine theta, we get 3 sine theta over sine theta, and sine squared theta over sine theta. In the first fraction here, the sines will cancel, so it's just 3, and in the second one, sine squared theta over sine theta is just sine theta. And of course you can write these the other way around, so we end up with sine theta plus 3, which is what we were asked to show. For this question, let's write down the left hand side, and we're going to need to expand these brackets on the top. So it's all over cos theta, now we need to do sine theta times sine theta first, that's sine squared theta, then sine theta times negative 1, that's negative sine theta, then 1 times sine theta, that's plus sine theta, and 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. Now these two terms in the middle will cancel out, since negative sine theta plus sine theta equals 0, so if we simplify the top, we end up with sine squared theta minus 1. Now we will change this sine squared theta here into 1 minus cos squared theta, so we end up with 1 minus cos squared theta, take away 1, now the two 1s will cancel out, so we end up with negative cos squared theta over cos theta. And one of the cos thetas on the top will cancel with the one on the bottom, so we just end up with negative cos theta, which is what we wanted to show. For this question here, we have quite a long left hand side. We're going to need to expand all of these brackets. So we'll start with the first one. We've got 1 times 1, which is 1. Then 1 times sine theta, so plus sine theta. Sine theta times 1, so plus sine theta again and then sine theta times by sine theta, so plus sine squared theta. Now onto the second bracket, we've got 1 times 1, which is 1, 1 times cos theta, cos theta, cos theta times 1, which is cos theta, and cos theta times by another cos theta, which is cos squared theta, and then this minus 2 sine theta at the end. Now we need to do some simplifying. You can see we've got two 1s here, so 1 and 1, that makes 2, and then if we look at the sine theta terms, we've got sine theta plus sine theta, but also on the far right hand side we've got minus 2 sine theta, so they actually simplify to give 0. Moving on we've got plus sine squared theta, that won't simplify with anything so we'll just write that down, and then plus cos theta plus cos theta is plus 2 cos theta, and finally we have a plus cos squared theta. 
Now you should spot here we've got a sine squared theta and a plus cos squared theta, which we know from an identity is equal to 1. So we've got 2 plus the 1 plus 2 cos theta. And if you add 2 and 1 you get 3, so it's 3 plus 2 cos theta, which is what we wanted to show. For this question we'll write down the left hand side, and we're going to start with this fraction, we're going to factorise the cos theta out on the numerator. So we'll keep the rest the same, and inside the bracket we'll need a sine theta, and then plus 1. For the second term here, we're going to change the tan theta into sine theta over cos theta, like this. And of course you can multiply these, so sine squared theta over cos theta. On the left fraction, the cos theta on the top will cancel with one of the cos thetas from the bottom, so we just end up with sine theta plus 1 over cos theta, and we'll keep the second fraction as it is, and since they're both over cos theta, we can combine these together now as one fraction. What we can do now is look at this sine squared theta here on the top, and change that to 1 minus cos squared theta. So we end up with this, and then 1 minus cos squared theta, and if you expand out this bracket, you end up with negative 1 plus cos squared theta. Again, watch out for the two negative signs there. You should see we have a plus 1 and a minus 1, they will cancel, so we've just got sine theta plus cos squared theta over cos theta. And we can write this as two separate fractions, so sine theta over cos theta plus cos squared theta over cos theta. The left of those fractions is just tan theta, and on the right one, one of the coses on the top will cancel with the one on the bottom, so it's just plus cos theta. Which, of course, you could rewrite the other way around as cos theta plus tan theta, which is what we wanted to show. For this final question, we'll start with the left hand side, and we're going to split this up into two fractions. So we're going to have 2 sine theta cos theta over cos squared theta, and plus 1 over cos squared theta. On the left of these fractions now, the cos theta on the top will cancel with one of the ones on the bottom, so we just end up with 2 sine theta over cos theta, and on the right hand one we're going to do something really clever, we're going to change the 1 on the top into sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, using the identity. Now what we can do with the right hand fraction is separate this into two fractions, both of them over cos squared theta, like this. Now if you look at each of the terms here, the first one, sine theta over cos theta is just tan theta, so it's 2 tan theta. The second one, sine squared theta over cos squared theta is tan squared theta. And the final one, cos squared theta divided by itself is just 1. We can rewrite the order of this so it looks like a quadratic, so we end up with tan squared theta plus 2 tan theta plus 1, which factorises to give 1 plus tan theta all squared, which is what we wanted to show. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.